If I'm standing here, where is the water coming from? Let's take a look. <laughs> okay. Now. <laughs> okay. So, here we've got part of the ridge line. Here, I'm standing on the high point. On this side, the water goes into the parking lot. But on my right side, the water goes into the garden. So this rainfall and runoff is part of the water income for that area. But let's keep going along the ridge line. We also get these rooftops, which are draining the water to the back side, which is also diverted into the garden. Here, if you eyeball it, you can see right about there, the slope is that way. Here, the slope is that way. So I can see this parking lot is probably also contributing water to the garden. This sidewalk is acting as a ridge line along with these planters. So there's no way that water can move this way. It can only go that way. So I keep walking along the ridge here. Now we've got the top of the parking lot, and this is more or less about the ridge line. Right here we're getting a little bit of runoff coming along here, but this water is sticking around. We've got a raised curb which is not allowing runoff that way, even though the general slopes that way. The raised curb around that building is keeping that roof's runoff down there, not coming into the parking lot. So as I walk the ridge line then, now we're at the top. And it continues right on here, down past the, the downslope side of those buildings. So the buildings we looked at earlier, their roof runoffs falling down there and going in that direction into the garden. And uh, actually, I just see there's even more water going in there. So this asphalt paved area, just above the bleachers of the field, all of that is draining this way and it's sloped into the banks so that also goes to the garden and since that's collecting water we do get the water from this roof because its water is all draining down to that area and then on down so there's a huge amount of water going to this garden And here at the bottom of the parking lot, you can see that the raised curb is depressed or flushed, allowing all this runoff to just go right on down here. And uh, so instead of growing trailers, we could be growing a lot of trees that can shade and passively cool these structures. And instead of having all the water down at the bottom, we could have been shedding this parking lot to the planters all along here. So all of the buffered planting between parking lot and bleacher area could have been irrigated with the runoff from the parking lot. But currently, all of this is dependent on this piped in irrigation system because the runoff is being diverted away from it from the, for the most part. So it's a little hard to get through the trailers but we're going to hop over to the other side of the fence and then we'll follow the water flow into uh, the gardens full of uh, wonderful lush food plants. Let's go. <laughs> okay. okay, we're back where we started. Here we've got the water coming off the roof. And all that water from the parking lot we just looked at is also coming right down here. Um, and there's that asphalted, uh, asphalt paved section uh, just above the bleachers. All that water is coming here. Whatever does not infiltrate here will continue on. This is the low spot of the landscape. It'll flow through here. So some of the roots of this kiwi can tap into that water. 
The roots of the olive tree can tap into the water as it moves through. Oh, an avocado, yes! It too can tap into the, the water and it keeps, if there's enough water generated from all that runoff, it keeps on going through here, irrigates the banana, not a concrete drainage way. You can eat bananas, you can't eat concrete through more of this wonderful edible food garden. Ah, oh, yeah, nice guava, more bananas, some citrus tucked in, and here we go. All right. And now we've come to the final spot um, where the water can accumulate. The thing we got to look into next is where does this go? And my question is, I've got to ask the college uh, staff here, does this take surplus water out or is this bringing water in from the parking lot? If it's bringing water in from the parking lot, even better, larger watershed. If it's taking it out, well, what I would consider doing is to raise a an embankment here so you can pool up and infiltrate more water before overflowing into the, the last spillway overflow, taking the water out of the system. There we go.